Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Swan Song campaign. Where I'm trying to beat the game on the literal hardest difficulty with every setting. Ranked up to the maximum, it is time for the Tournament of Champions. An interesting sort of um, flashpoint where this guy here has invited us, Professor Merculus Harvard, has, uh, has invited us to participate in the tournament. The, he is looking for the very best pilot, and in reality, he's just trying to be incredibly mean. He will double cross us and uh, will try to keep all of our mechs for himself. But yeah, of course, we're going to overcome his challenge. Good. A million sea bills sounds good. Spoken like a true mercenary. And there are a couple of en uh, enemy or like other contestants. However, there is a catch to the whole uh, story, which I should have told you in advance. We can't use our own mechs. We're going to be placed into Urbis. Mm. No one likes them. You're not getting any salvage, you get nothing. Straight up four urban mechs and you're locked into them. Yay, great. Isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. Good. Uh, we're going to take Lily. Those missions... I'm not sure. Is that a clever idea? To be honest, those are typically missions where a high gunnery skill will be mandatory. So might as well use mocks good and the, the first uh the first one will be kind of a free for all where we're just brawling our way through the streets it is a cool environment and i already told you that i like uh, urban environments for fights so i'm getting more and more excited about that one good time to get right into the battle a nice change of pace as we're finding ourselves in the smallest of mechs, the Urbies. The legend of the urban mech is someone randomly created that thing. It looked a little bit like a small, place. Really you know, human replica, maybe, um. or an egg. Acknowledged. And anyways, that mech was not created with any sort of efficiency in mind was simply created with the idea to make a meme mech one that can sometimes be incredibly efficient and most of the times absolutely not so that's what we're currently having we uh, as you can see every single one of these guys has an ac10 which is their big hammer and then you do have a small laser, which is just as good as the mech normally is. Bandit. It's our job to deal with the enemy forces right over there. Thankfully, we got enough sprint stacks. Good. Interestingly enough, we got a newcomer, so next round hostile pots will be dropping in. And well, just let's let the others Copy go that. first. The whole idea of this tournament is to miss and miss and miss and miss. Whatever. I'm good. Until the one time when you're actually hitting. So, I'll talk about going first. Moves up here. Has three dots, evasion dots, and let's see if we can hit that urban mech. Yep, hit the core. Very well. On my way. 
Moving up. Target confirmed. Ordered. On my way. Alright. Each each of the shots hit somewhere else. I should have started with just uh, just doing a normal shot, right? And then used the precise shot in order to ki uh, to re-hit the same position. Good. Miss Meyer is another contestant that has just joined this fight. Alright, our biggest problem is Hogbite is now hit in the center core, so another hit would be fatal. Can't let that happen. So he will stay back whilst the others are tanking. Someone is fighting in the back. Oh, that's fine. Bradford moves up. Precision strike. And let's hit this guy. I copy. Fortunately, hit Standing exactly by. the other side. Moving to position. Reaper moves up. Engaging target. Scored a critical hit. Right here. The other Irby is highly unstable. Position confirmed. Mox moves up and you want some of this? Oh, we're just hitting on, we're just hitting the leg unfortunate yeah with high level pilots Commander? you might as well could have gone in and and just uh, precise sh uh, shot everything around Good, Hogbite is moving up. Gotta be careful with him, like I said. Fantastic, that guy is toast. Good to go. And we're putting wait ourselves some shot. reserve. Let's wait until we find where the others are at. Acknowledged. Moving up. Very good. Got a couple of fights down yeah, there. Man. On my way, double time. Fantastic. Let let them continue their fight. that standing by good we're continuing to move over here just to see whom they are fighting yes, against Amanda. on the move reaper moves up as well what's up boss Bradford moves up. Good. And finally, Hogbite takes the vigilance. We don't want him to die. Remember, his torso was open. No point in risking that. It's a two versus one situation, so we might want to hit those two guys here fantastic he jumped right onto the rooftop there 
move order confirmed. Normally I would destroy the roof that he's standing on, but I think we can just try to hit him. Missed. Ready for orders. Yeah? What can I do you for? So far he pretty much self-isolated, right? Waiting for orders. Got the arm. Let's precision strike him. Engaging target. That unfortunately didn't work as I would have expected. Position confirmed. Bradford moves up. Fire. And the AC10 of uh, that guy is gone. Good. We're continuing to hit him. Copy that. I still sent a torso hit. Got something you want done? Up high. Red port. Takes a nice little po uh, pose up here. Hot damn, let's do this. And that was one more pirate that. down. Good. So we got a one versus one back there. Oh, but in the meantime, it's moving over to here. Waiting for orders. No problem. And there we go. Yes, Commander. No problem, boss. I got this. All right, moving over. Vigilance, because we don't want to be hit. And let's reduce his initiative as well. Confirmed. I was hoping we could jump jet all the way up here. Can't. Just out of curiosity, 100 hit points. Ah, probably potentially not worth it. Yes, Commander. Good. Mox, two shots. All weapons are go. Target eliminated. Commander. And that's pretty much a done deal. Go into full throttle. Yeah, I want to be careful with with Hawkbite here. Racing. Come on, people, let's make it happen. All right, the other Irby seems heavily, heavily damaged. Copy that. Yeah, the AC-10 is gone already. <laughs> okay. Awaiting orders. She has really nothing left for her. Once the AC-10 is gone, the Irby just doesn't do much. Very good. So that's part one of uh, this beautiful tournament, which nicely brings us to part two of the same tournament. Of course, instead of just winning, this guy kept um, 
on demanding that we're doing more. And he will now betray us. Good. So, my father is alive and well. The whole vengeance shtick is just to cover the story. The truth is, an he's an undercover operative. Okay. We're listening to his details. Good. He's offering 250 grand instead of uh, the full million. We're going where the money set. I want one mil. That guy, of course, is not happy. But yeah, we got it. We need the money, guys. I want to buy something from the black market. So, Tournament of Champions Part 2. This time, only a few can join us. How about it's Hogbite and Bradford? Sounds like a good plan. Two Urban Max. Here we go, port two. Command interface initiated. And we only landed with two. Well, well, well. Now you will show Professor Howard your favorite. Well, let's see how how good we can actually fight against him. Oh, I distinctly remember this fight. It was not easy. I get you on the move. Just keep focusing on the fight. Here we go. There is a hostile drop pod coming in. And we have just lost our arm. Hope I'd lost the AC-10. Oh, shite. Well, we got one eight left. Are you telling me we're just losing another... Okay, that's at least a laser. Well, fantastic. Good, so the professor has just joined. Let them deal with one another. Redford is the only one with an AC-10. Vigilance and... To be honest, let's use Precision Strike. Nicely hitting that Urban Mech. Good. We're moving around the back with Hawkbite. I hope that I can... I'd literally get them from the back. Ready for orders. Uh, that's not a good idea. That is potentially a better idea. Okay. Roger that. Moving back. I want to make sure that we have the full defense. 
Roger that. And that guy took a different shot. Yeah, the professor, by the way, uh, is of course not running his urban mech himself. He is running a normal light mech. Receiving you. Yeah, no, I really only want to be targetable by those two guys. I want to deal with the professor now. Taking the shot. Critical hit, Commander. Putting everyone on reserve. Okay, that urban mag goes down. Now I can't reach it. That is too bad. Nope. I don't want to put ourselves out there. Moving to here and just bracing. We need more resolve in order to pull off a maneuver. Standing by. Okay, Bradford jumps over. Up high. We got still got enough ammunition left over. And finally, that's a one-on-one -on -one between both of them. Let the professor take his shots. Good, Hawkeye jumps over. Professor is in a blackjack. I. It's not even a small, that is a medium mech. Nope, we're not precise striking. We're just normally attacking. Don't want to deal with a professor yet. Takes even some more damage. Wonderful. Let the two of them have it. If we could hit the side, no, we can't. And let's try the other side. Engaging. Yes, Commander. Okay, so. It would still be an 80% shot. Confirm. Good. We're super far away and we're basically hidden. Engaging with 
target. Fantastic, that worked out well. Put it on reserve and let him act first. But we're jumping over Vigilance for an initiative boost. And let's just give him the 20 damage. Unfortunately, it is a lack. Waiting for orders. But we're sprinting all the way back so these two can continue to fight. I think it's fair to say that everybody needs to focus on the professor at this point. Again, let them have it. Hawkbite. Jumps over, we can't hit the Professor, I think. Let's just double check, the Urbi has lost its AC-10, okay. What we can do, though, is... First of all, Vigilance, and secondly... Engaging target. Standing by. Alright. I copy. This destroys uh, the building, and with it, the fall damage gravely injured the guy. You know, I mean, what we can do is Vigilance, right? And melee attack. And standing there. That's 60% damage reduction. On top of which... We've nicely hit, uh, uh, hit him. Okay, so 30 and that's 45. Okay, we're taking the torso. Roger. Fantastic. Roger Professor is done. All out of AC ammo. Oh, we have... Oh, wow, we have nothing left. Okay, fantastic. Hmm. No ammunition and the small laser was destroyed. Damn it. Alright, reserve. We're going we're going to get attacked once more. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injury. Warning. All weapons destroyed. Alright, vigilance. And let's attack the guy. Engaging physical attack. Enemy mech destroyed. We literally lost all of the weapons. Down to the core, when we ramped it with uh, with a little urban mech. Well, it started out quite nasty. Gotta say, I've we had four evasion blips on uh, on both of our pilots. Enemy took the first turn and immediately destroyed Hogbite's AC-10. That was rather nasty.
There's, I don't know, there wasn't that much uh, that I could have done in order to counterplay. Other than being even more careful and just approaching with one. But then again, that could have, um, could have led to the exact same outcome. Good, Tournament of Champions. Where's my one million? There we go, cash prize. Oh, and we even got an Irby. Well, that is kind of you. What else do we have? AC 20 plus plus. Extra damage, more stability damage. That's fantastic. LRM 20 plus plus. I wasn't even aware that you would get uh, that uh, mech. Yeah, and don't even think about keeping uh, the Irby. This is a meme mech. You can make it work. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 wait. Is that actually the one with the AC-20 cannon? No way. <laughs> okay, well... So how much okay so it has quite a bit of room and some lasers so maybe that guy can be good for something i think it uh, that's the special version the l version the lighter version with a lighter engine so yeah eventually you could go and do something like that here Seventy points of damage and four medium lasers. <clears throat> yeah, it would still not work out uh, with the tons. It would still not work out with the tons, so the firepower would be oh, um, okay if you were to go uh, with that uh, sort of loadout. But yeah, let's just double check the storage because we already had an urban mech. And I'm actually interested if that Irby is a special one. So that is the r90 and that's the r60 okay cool and that's the one that we got is the r60l double the firepower an ac20 is not bad i will firmly admit that that is a lot of firepower for such a small mech ready for orders waiting for orders orders standing by good to go Good, Mox is still waiting. I think the piloting would be important for him as well. Just making sure that we move faster. I actually think that that is more important than getting to that skill. Training complete. Yes, Commander. Extra overheating threshold isn't bad either. The level six skills training usually complete. tend to be quite Apart. okay. Training confirmed, Commander. Waiting on you, Commander. Orders. Mech warrior training complete. Awaiting orders, Commander. Good. Fantastic. So what I will do behind the scenes is I'll work on some of the contracts here. Certainly not on the ones uh, that are fighting against the pirates. And we're going to purchase... Uh, from the black market and 
the next system that you are going to see once I'm done uh, with the contracts here might be a bit tougher one four and a half stars uh, four and a half skulls this one here looks good because with the upgraded capillion uh, confederation missions from here we should be good to go but i would most likely potentially travel here because this one inner sphere level uh, civilization that's a normal uh, um, uh, civilization but has a black market Leo headquarters means you're getting special equipment from the Liao uh, faction. Mega city, rich, so there will be plenty of options. So we're going to go here into Prin uh, Principia next, and then eventually at that flashpoint over here. I, there is a flashpoint up here, interestingly enough, for the Federated Suns. We're maybe going to go over there. I think the flashpoints, uh, so after, of course, after doing this here, the flashpoints are usually fun because we're getting some interesting loot out of it. And sometimes with the uh, weight restrictions, they can add a bit to, this, uh, to, uh, to the storyline and just um, give a change of pace, so to speak. So we're going to go for Principia first and then maybe this flashpoint and then potentially kind of a couple of five star planets up here. But that'll happen in a future episode. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, please leave a comment down below and hit the like button. Goodbye.